Hello, this is Leech Chee Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire! Since last time, I went back to one of the towns and uh, withdrew the M drops and lifes and cures that I've had stored in the inventory there, because we're going to be selling those soon. So, first things first, let's go through the forest with Bo there. Okay, how's it going, little fairies? Uh, no, I just uh, shoot bows and arrows. I can kill your wildlife all you want, but uh, cutting down the trees, oh, no, no, you can't do that. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm, I won't cut down any trees. Can I punch the trees? Is that okay? Looks like someone's already been pretty busy there. Okay, how's it going? Huh? Oh. So, you were cutting down trees and... They cast a spell to make you walk around in circles over and over again? It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Anyway, we got a new enemy here, Trunk. I don't think I've ever seen these guys before now that I think about it. Oh, huh, that's weird. But well, anyway, uh... Yeah, what, uh, just a reminder, the curse status uh, reduces your luck stat to zero. Not that that's deal at all, but it's there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, that guy running around in circles on the flower bed there. Kind of reminded me of, uh, wasn't that Final Fantasy V when you had to do that to get the, uh, the toad spell in one of the villages there? I thought it was. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Well, anyway, let's head on through the cave to the port town. Hopefully, this town will have a real port. Yeah, um, Bo can't hit any of these guys, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, yeah, I kind of just glossed over it there, but, uh, to cure the curse status, I just have Nina cast her heal spell, and, uh, that's good enough. So. Oh, and I was saying about those life potions, or whatever I got there, uh, we're gonna be selling those. Because, well, I know what I'm doing. I don't think I'll ever need to really revive someone in battle, right? So, you can just defend, and we'll just multi-target these guys. Uh, also, since last time I equipped the boomerang back on Ryu there, you can sell the... Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, you can sell his old longsword now. We're never going to use it again because we've got the dragon spells now. Anytime you're going to need something single targeting, targeting, we'll just use those anyway. So, yeah, there's really no reason. Your physical attack will never outweigh the dragon spells, unless you do massive level grinding, which I won't. Path to the left there is a dead end for now, so uh, don't worry about it there. Oh, uh, you actually want to use that uh, spark spell on this guy. Yeah, remember this cave for later use. Uh, if I didn't say so last time, yeah, that is the drawback of uh, doing these every other day. I can't remember what I said the last time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, last time, uh, the dragon spells always deal fixed damage. Just like, well, your ordinary black magic spells, like what Bo has there. And, I mean, you'll have an elemental multiplier if they're weak to that element. But, essentially, the damage is fixed. Although, you, unlike magic spells, you can use marble ones with dragon spells to uh, increase their damage, so that's pretty nice. Like, you'll get a critical hit on a spell. Kind of weird, because I don't think you can crit on spells normally, but... Well, whatever works for you. So let's check out the town of Aurea. Okay, how's it going? Wow, this place is pretty shiny. Kind of getting a Secret Armana vibe here. Oh, nuts. Well, let's see if I can uh, find a way out of here. Well, we can't break through the lock there. Let's see, maybe this is a really bad prison. Ah, and here we get the prison clothes, which isn't really good, but it's there. Uh, let's check it out. Yeah, it uh, boosts your. Uh, luck stat, or fate, by uh, 20 there, but you lose a lot of defense, so yeah, no way I'm going to use that, just uh, sell it. Okay, how's it going? 
Looks like we're bunkmates now. Can you, uh, make some room there? Well, I just walked in and they threw me in jail instantly. Uh, no, that's okay. I'll find my way out. Oh. That's, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we really do want your help. Uh, wait. What do you mean you're gonna let us out? You're a prisoner too. Why did they put someone in here who could just unlock the door like that? And furthermore, why are you still here? I mean, if you could just break out at any time, what are you doing here? Are you just a philanthropist helping random people who get uh, thrown in jail or something? I don't know. But anyway, okay, the nice thing, well, it's, well, it's a good thing and a bad thing. The bad thing about Oria is because it's, well, a town of gold, the, uh, everything here sells for 30% more than what it normally would. Like, uh, herbs now cost 13 instead of 10. But the nice thing is that they will buy things from you for more than they normally would. Yes. Normally, I'd get five grand for this, but now I get a little more. So that's why I've been saving all my stuff here for so long. Not that it's absolutely critical, but you might as well take what you can get. So, yeah, let's just sell all of our uh, excess stuff here now that it's worthwhile. Let's see, now we want to buy some vitamins, a pouch, we'll need those for later. Eventually we'll want to get a gold bar, but uh, not right now. We don't have the money for it anyway. So, uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Oh! I meant to uh, trade it in there, but uh, well, we can equip it the old-fashioned way. Why not? Well, it's a little better on the defense. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. And then, let's sell the old one. Now, the pouch you're just going to want to hold on to for a while. We're not actually going to use that yet. But the vitamins we will use right now. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Vitamins for the hiccups? What is this, just a really bad censoring job? Yeah, actually it is. Uh, I heard that, I don't know what he needs. But you give him the vitamins and you get five grand. So you make a little money there. But yeah, I forget if uh, he just asked. I don't know the original translation. I thought I heard it was something different. Like, he's either hungover and he needs you to buy him something to help cure that, or, uh, or if he just wants you to buy him another drink or something. I forget. Someone told me before, but, uh, eh, I forgot. Whatever. I don't know all the little translation things about this game. I heard the second game was really poorly translated. Because, uh, after Ted Woolsey, Capcom thought they could go it alone! <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you, uh, diss Ted Woolsey like that. Uh, no, not happening. Okay, well, let's take a look around. There's a lot of treasure to find here in Aria. So, uh, but, uh, well, let's see if we can, uh, hitch a ride first. Probably just gonna take them a while to get the ship ready for us anyway, so. Your ship is made of gold, too? What about the water? Huh, maybe that's just a sparkling effect they always have here. Uh, anyway, okay. I guess we gotta talk to some guy named Ross in order to uh, get a ship so we can go to scan. Okay, sounds like a plan. Now, one thing about this town, see the soldier to the right there? Yeah, it's just like Nana. If you get too close to him, he'll throw you in jail again. So, uh, don't do that. But, uh, okay. Well, let's see what we can do. You can get to the end there, though. You just gotta walk below and around him. So, but yeah, otherwise, don't, uh... Yeah, don't get too close to him. Okay, how's it going? Oh, really? Huh, maybe we ought to, uh, check that place out. wonder if that's where that, uh, other prisoner was from. Ooh, a Vigor Potion. Nice. Give it to Ryu there. Probably want to uh, rest up at the end here. 
eventually, but not right now. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money in the near future here. Uh, one thing about this town, like you saw with the vitamins there, uh, this town is kind of like, uh, what is it, Endor in Dragon Quest IV with Torneco's chapter there, or chapter three where uh, you need to do a whole bunch of things for other people, get a lot of money in order to buy something very expensive. But, uh, well, I won't spoil it for you guys. Huh. Fusion Ha? Huh? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, I already talked to you. So, yeah, even after you do all these little quests to get a lot of money, don't spend it. You're going to need it later on. Oh, I'm just, uh, your local adventurer, just looting the houses like I always do. What, haven't you played this JRPG before? Apparently not. Let's give the, uh, strength potion to Ryu there. Nice. So yeah, it's, well, I should rephrase what I was saying earlier. This is kind of like Chapter 3 of Dragon Quest 4, except, uh, much easier. There's only, like, what is it, three or four things you need to do? however many you need to do, to uh, get a lot of money. So, yeah, it's very simple. It's not nearly as tedious. There we get a white antler. If you didn't get the one earlier, you want to save that one for later, for a quest that you'll need to do in order to uh, progress with the plot. What does shoot mean? That guy just is sleeping in bed. Is that supposed to be the noise you make when you're asleep or snoring or something? I don't know. You got me on that one, Pierce. Hmm, smart ring. What does that do? I forget exactly what it does. Ah, it boosts your uh, intellect and magic stat. So, uh, well, I guess I might as well give it to Nina. If you want to, you could sell it. It's not really important. Oh, I wonder if he was, uh, yeah. Oh. oh, okay, so that was her son. Huh. Well, see what I can do for you, lady. Yeah, I'll probably just sell the smart ring. It's really not important. The only reason intellect or your magic stat is important is for your debuff accuracy, which I don't think I have any now, do I? Uh, oh, I have hold already. But even then, I'm never going to use that, at least not in the near future. The only time I really like to use debuffs and they can be useful, but I only like to use them when they are, uh, when I'm fighting enemies that have a lot of HP, in which case, um, yeah, I mean, if they got a lot of HP, then it's really late in the game. Early in the game, not so much. So, yeah, I'm pr I'll use them later, but, uh, not right now. Just loot all this guy's stuff. Ooh, a marble three. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, sure, why not? You want her to join you in the bathtub? Maybe. Uh, sure, why not? I can cast a cure spell on you. What? What are you doing? What are you giving him a puff puff massage? What is wrong with you, Nina? You're not even legal yet. I wonder what that was in the Japanese version. I really do. That had to be censored or something, but for healing him, we get 20,000 gold. All right. Man, I wonder what that was. <laughs> wow, Nina. Okay, well, let's bring uh, Bo back in the lead there. We'll need to go through the woods again later to uh, talk to fairies and see if maybe they'll let the poor guy go. But, uh, ooh, a luck potion. Can never have enough of those. Give that to Ryu there. And one last treasure here. Huh? What's going on? Please don't shoot me with lightning. No, no, that's another game. But, uh, that's 
cops? They're actually gonna arrest me for stealing from a random person's home? What a concept! But can we save the young man trapped by the fairies? Will Ross lend his ship to us? Is this the worst prison ever? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire! This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!